In this video, I want to talk about calculations related to pressure, airflow velocity, and airflow volume in a local exhaust ventilation system. These are the three variables that are most important when we're considering the performance of a system. The effectiveness of the ventilation system is a function of airflow and air volume. Again, I said we want to do some calculations. These are the basic formulas that we're going to be working with. And velocity of air is a function of velocity pressure. And here's the formula for calculating velocity using velocity pressure. And 4,005 is a constant in this particular formula. It's a very simple formula once we know velocity pressure. Uh, you may have to do some other calculations to, to come up with velocity pressure, though, as you'll see in the examples that I'm going to show you. Uh, airflow volume... Um, also very important, and here's a formula for airflow, airflow volume. Uh, Q equals area of the ductwork multiplied times the velocity in feet per minute. Again, V is velocity in feet per minute. Q is the volume uh, flow rate in cubic feet per minute. And A is the cross-sectional area of the duct. And remember, all of this goes back to pressure you got to have proper pressure to get the air moving in the system. But let's go ahead and look at a couple of uh, examples of problems that you might see on a certification exam. Okay, finding velocity in a ventilation system. And this, you know, there have been problems. There are problems on not maybe not every CSP exam, but many CS, CSP exams that will look exactly like this. There will be the, the question stem, and then there will be a diagram. Uh, in the ductwork illustrated to the right, what is the velocity at point C? You have three different points within this ductwork system. You have point A, point B, point C. We're only interested in point C, so let's go ahead and mark these out. Cross these out. We're only interested in what the velocity is in this 16 inch ductwork with a static pressure of minus 4 and a total pressure of minus 1. Okay. Again, here's the formula for velocity. Velocity equals 4,005 times the square root of velocity pressure. Before we can complete this problem and find velocity, we've got to determine what our velocity pressure is. To find our velocity pressure, we use the total pressure formula that I showed you in a, in a previous class, in a previous session. Very simple formula. Total pressure equals static pressure plus velocity pressure. The question gives us static pressure and total pressure, so we can use these values to calculate velocity pressure. Let's just go ahead and plug in what we do know into this formula. We have our uh, total pressure, negative 1, and we have our static pressure, negative 4. Now all we need to do is solve for velocity pressure. Uh, we do that by adding 4 to both sides of the equal sign. When we do that, there it is. Very simple. Uh, our velocity pressure is 3 inches of water column. Now that we have this, we can go back up to this formula, plug that in uh, to the VP variable. We end up with velocity equals 4,005 times the square root of 3. Take the square root of 3, it's 1.73. Then we multiply this times the 4,005 constant, and there's our velocity at point C within this ventilation system. Air velocity at point C is 6,936.9 feet per minute. Let's look at another problem. Also, uh, an example of what you might see on a certification exam. This one, there's a few more steps involved. Again, it's, it's really simple once you break it down into steps, so, and you get the sequence of the steps down. What is the volume flow rate in a 6-inch diameter duct where the total pressure is negative 0.8, and the static pressure is negative 2.5 inches. And again, we're calculating volume flow rate. 
Here is the formula for volume flow rate. Again, Q is volume flow rate in cubic feet per minute. A is the cross-sectional area of the ductwork, and that's going to have to be uh, calculated in square feet. It's given to us in, in inches, so we'll have to do a little bit of, of uh, uh, conversions there from inches to feet, but we'll get to that in a second. And then V is our velocity, which we're not given the velocity in the formula, but we have to have these these values for these variables to calculate the flow rate. So the first step is to come up with velocity. Calculate the velocity in this duct in this duct work. And here's our formula for velocity. To calculate velocity, we first need velocity pressure. To calculate velocity pressure, we're going to use the total pressure formula to find that velocity pressure. Okay, we are given total pressure and static pressure. Plug in our total pressure, plug in our static pressure, and solve for velocity pressure. Uh, we add uh, 2.5 to each side. Our velocity pressure is 1.7 inches of water column. We have that. Now we can go back up to this formula and calculate our velocity. Uh, Plug in 1.7 for our velocity pressure. Take the square root of the velocity pressure, which is 1.3. Then we multiply the 1.3 times 4,005. And there's our velocity, 5,206.5. Now we have the velocity that we need to calculate the flow rate, but we still need to calculate the area. Again, we have a 6-inch diameter duct. Uh, and we need to calculate the area in, in, in square feet. So we're going to co convert that 6 inch diameter to feet, which would be 0.5 feet diameter. The formula for area is pi r squared, radius squared. Radius is one half diameter. So we take that 0.5 foot diameter divide that by 2, we have a radius of 0.25, then we square that. And you know, pi is, is pi. Uh, multiply pi times 0.25 squared, we end up with a cross-sectional area for this 6-inch duct of 0.196 square feet. Now we have everything we need. We go back to this formula. Uh, Q equals A times V. Plug in our area plug in our velocity, and we end up with a volume flow rate of 1,020.5 cubic feet per minute. That's it. That's it. Again, it's, none of the math is hard. It's just knowing what each of the formulas um, do and getting those calculations done in the proper order. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next class.